Hiya. So one last final video for this week, and this should be a fairly quick one. Uh, basically, we're going to look at the gamma distribution. Um, quick note that I forgot to mention in the Erlang distribution video. Um, the book calls the Erlang distribution the gamma distribution, um, which people don't really call anymore. So um, Erlang is basically, um, and then I, I don't remember, like they call both the, basically it used to be just called gamma distribution. And then it's split into two. When it became just integers, it was Erlang. And now the next idea is, well, what happens if I replace integers? Because I have a formula, right? So remember I had this uh, formula, e to the, I'll write it here, e to the minus lambda x, lambda to the r, x to the r minus one, and then r minus one factorial. So here, technically, we can make this r minus, uh, this r into just any number. It doesn't have to be an integer. There's actually a way to do the factorial for non um, whole numbers or um, yeah, non whole numbers. Um, and so the question then becomes, well, um, well, why can't we just use any R? Why does it have to be integers? And that's where the gamma distribution kind of comes out from. Um, so yeah, so what we're going to do is basically, so the book kind of then says, okay, well, we're just going to call everything gamma distribution, whether R is an integer or not. Uh, but in modern terminology, we normally say if R is an integer, it's just going to be Erlang to kind of distinguish the two. Um, and so, yeah, so basically the gamma distribution is identical. Not much changes. Uh, so lambda is lambda and R. Lambda is called the rate parameter. R is the shape parameter. Um, and if, and we just let um, R be any number instead of um, an integer. And that's basically it. So it's nice and quick. I won't go over an example because gamma distribution is basically the same thing as our long distribution. Uh, it's just we let any R. Um, if you're confused as to how you can use non-integers for this factorial, um, I would recommend uh, looking that up. Uh, it's pretty cool um, how this works. Um, but yeah, so you can just use this uh, for any number and it all works out um, and you get nice things. Um, so basically you can think of it as, well, what happens if you have like, um, what's a good way to think about this? Like if you have like m partial successes or something, um, so you can break up things in multiple things or something. Um, so yeah, so there's different ways you can kind of handle this and it's pretty cool. Uh, and it's pretty nice. Um, so yeah, so I will leave it at that. Um, and that's it for this week. Um, yeah. Bye.